Hello everyone, watch this review here with the look at the Percival character pack from, I guess, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Now I don't actually follow this or play this or anything else, so I'm not terribly familiar with the franchise, but I saw some clearance, thought it was sort of a neat concept. Just because, um, you know, the tiny pieces never look like the monsters that they actually portray and everything, so... I like the fact that they have like normal figures to kind of supplement that. I'm not sure if people actually use those in the game or whatever though, or even how the game is played. I think we tried watching the first episode and yeah, I'm getting on a tangent here. But yeah, hold on a second till I'll get it out of pack. Okay, so I neglected to mention this because I didn't see it underneath the clearance tag, but this is in fact a Target exclusive. If that makes any difference to you. I assume it's long out of stores by now. I picked this up a while ago, but um, it comes with this card here, which I know feels like a really thick cardboard stock, and it almost feels metal or something, just because it's got a huge amount of substance to it. But if you look at it, frays on the edges, so it's also kind of bent coming out pack. I don't know, it's weird like that, as well as the character in figure form. Which is a really neat looking figure. Obviously this is probably one of the biggest draws for me in the pack. Me being a monster fanatic and all. And then we have the, I guess the actual playing piece, which I'm not sure how this stuff works, but you know these things fold up into balls and then I had one of the McDonald's toys, so I think it it's like a button or something you hit and then pops open. Hold on a second. Alright, so um, first of all, I didn't have it completely compacted into its ball mode because I had the arms popped in first. I guess the head's got to go in before the arms. But um, apparently the card is so thick and everything because it has a magnet in it. And by popping it down like so, so let me do it right in front of the camera, we pops out. That's pretty cool, right? Well, I think it's neat. Your opinion may or may not vary. So, again, if I can get everything kind of snapped in. But, I mean, here's what it looks like in the ball form. I mean, I imagine these are kind of identifiable, even if, um, you know, when these things pop open. I'm not really sure what the significance is between the designs in these. Also, it's got this kind of cool logo. I imagine it's probably the type or something. And again, what you just... Hold on a second. At any rate, like I was saying, you know... Just drop this here and wham, pops open. So I mean, even if you don't uh, collect or play this, actually the legs didn't open. I need to get the legs open. I don't know. But I mean, the legs also flip down. Maybe it's got to be done manually. I think it's got to be done manually. But yeah, I mean, even if you don't collect this or anything, yeah, I think one of these is kind of a neat item, or at least just picking up one from the series. Um, of course, it's kind of a drawback that you need the card to transform it, or actually probably any magnet. I mean, I guess that's a really kind of cool gimmick all the same. It's better than having to manually undo all the bits. Wham! So yeah, this has been a look at the Percival character back character pack, sorry, a Target exclusive that includes the little game piece, the card. It's floating, as well as a figure of you know kind of neat sculpt, but uh, paint-wise, you know, just not a whole lot on there. Really, not a ton to say about this, although I do like the general character design. That's still easy to look. But um, until next time, folks.